what is our identity and what is that defines us in the physical sense too and even more so in the online digital sense is going to be in my opinion changed quite a bit very soon and the reason for this change is due to what I call the necessary autonomy of online agents it will be the very nature of our human limited capacity of absorbing information of paying attention to new developments as important as they might be our desire of living higher quality lives that is going to drive the adoption of increasing degrees of autonomy in the decision systems that surround us examples abound the very cars that we drive override what we decide when a braking system is assisted it means nothing but when I brake too quickly or I press the, the braking pedal too heavily the ABS will decide that it is not the case that it should let me do so because the car would skid so the ABS overrides my decision of braking in a certain manner and it will brake on my behalf but differently in my opinion the impact and the pervasiveness of autonomous systems is going to increase radically in the near future and the, just as the examples that I gave surround us in the physical world in our cars or in the physical assembly of computers that we own on websites the software agents representing our will and our desire are going to become more autonomous and we will want them to be so this autonomy will most of the time concretely express itself in the machine to machine communication that is unbounded there are several economical reasons why I think this is going to happen a simple one is uh, driven by economics as more slow drives further integration and miniaturization of uh, uh, computing systems that go beyond the given threshold of usefulness and we go from thousands of mainframes to hundreds of thousands of mini computers to hundreds of millions of PCs the billions of mobile phones that pretend not to be too much of a computer but they actually are that we surround ourselves with are the last generation of computing systems that can pretend to be helped by humans to be for example recharged or to be cleaned up if they have too many text messages and the forthcoming new generations of tens hundreds or thousands of billions of components that uh, companies like Cisco Google Intel General Electric and others are in the process of already designing and in some examples actually deploying are going to be once again necessarily autonomous and they will increase the communication from machine to machine to orders of magnitude more than not the communications that are today ongoing in our mobile networks from human to human
the fact that data networks uh, are uh, going to exceed what is the level of voice communication is already visible today in the mobile networks where uh, data communications are not only uh, more valuable but more crucial for the future survival of the companies that provide them than voice communications. There will be those pundits who will see this uh, a rather large extension of uh, machine life on the planet as potentially harmful or dangerous. It will be important for those of us who see otherwise to speak as clearly as possible for the first group of people to understand that the burden of managing the planet has to be taken away from the shoulders of humans who have not been able to do a great job in so an important task and sharing or actually giving away this burden to the autonomous systems of machine-to-machine -machine communication is going to be extremely welcome and is going to be able and enhance our humanity uh, where we are going to be able and dedicate ourselves to human endeavors of embracing, of loving, of communicating with other humans in new ways that uh, we were actually never able to do before. So, the thesis, as of yet unproven, of uh, my talk today is that potentially the intersections and the overlapping manifestations of the distributed online digital identities that more and more autonomously interact and increase the flow of communication are building a superorganism of which our physical identities and even our single online identities, the digital projections that I described before, are only part of. I think that soon we should be able and see what are parts of the nature of this superorganism. What are the ways and means of this superorganism to manifest itself? There was a recent post by Kevin Kelly uh, which uh, showed on a graph the synchronous heartbeat of planet wide marketplaces that were actually beating synchronously, increasing and increasing as if they were breathing. Uh, the feeling that intense users of Twitter have of interconnectedness and of added value because of the simultaneous and spontaneous thinking that they find with numerous other Twitter users minute by minute, hour after hour, saying things that express their emotions and finding those emotions in the sayings, in the tweets of other users as well, is, in my opinion, an additional element of the superorganism manifesting itself in the overlapping digital distributed identities that we live day by day online.